Hello guys, you're welcome to another tutorial. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Imo King. I'm a videographer slash video editor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the clip dimensions of a clip. I'll be explaining how to change the position, how to change the scale, and how to change the rotation of a clip. Now these are the three key elements of clip dimensions. And also I'll be showing you a basic overview of keyframe animation. So for this example, we'll be making use of our talk over video clip. Bear in mind that you can do this with video clips. It doesn't have to be images. I realize that I've done this with images, but you can also use text and you can also use videos. Now, the second thing I want to mention here is that this tutorial is no way targeted at any body or any government. I was just looking for a clip that perfectly explains what I'm trying to portray. And this interview seemed to be the only clip I had on my system. So please, I don't mean to throw shots at any body or any organization. I just had to get that out of the way. So the first thing I want to show you is how to change the position of a clip. So if you notice here, we have this clip here. Let me scale this in so you can see it clearly. We have this clip here, which is basically this image. If I off this, you will see that it's no longer there. Now, once I place this on, you can see the image. Now, I want to show you how to change the scale of this clip. All you need to do is to come over here to scale and select this once you select this you just need to hold on to this and drag it up or down so once you do this you will notice that the scale of the image is increasing so basically guys that's how to increase the scale of a clip or a video or a text in premiere pro the next thing i want to show you is how to change the position of a clip in premiere pro so you come over here to position you select position and you have two variables here you will notice we have 960 and 540 this represents the x axis and the y axis so the x axis is what you use to move the clip from the left to the right why the y axis which is this 540 here is what you can use to move the clip up or down so to move this clip to the right all you need to do is to select this position here and then you can move up or down and you will notice that the clip is going right or left now to move it up or down you select the y axis and then you can change the variable so from 540 here you can type let's say 570 and hit enter and you will notice it scaled up but let me just hit ctrl z to take that back up so another way will be to hold and drag up or down and then you will notice that the image is moving up or down so the next thing is how to rotate you select this rotation option and you move up or you move down and then you'll notice that you have your image or your video, whatever it is, rotating. So now let's try some basic keyframe animation. You know it isn't pleasing to the eye when you're watching a video and then an image stays still. It's best when you have the image uh, moving or changing its position. So basically for this image, I want to change the position of this image. I want it to have a gradual feel why she's talking about this so what i'll do is i'll move over to the scale here the first thing you want to do is to hit on this toggle animation key here what that does is it makes the system recognize that this is the starting point of the scale it starts from this scale so you will move this to the beginning next you will move this line close to the end of the clip you don't want to move it out so it doesn't move to another image like this just did. Let me take this right back. You move somewhere close to the image and then you select a scale that you want. So I can just hold this and drag this up and let it zoom to this position. So you can now hold on to this scale here and move it to the extreme end. So if I should move this line, you will notice that the image is scaling itself gradually and then it's more pleasing to the eye as a video. Now, how to change the position? So let's go back to the beginning. So now I want to scale the position of this clip. To do this, I'll toggle on the position like I did with the scale, and then the system will recognize that this is where I want the image to start. This is the position. So I'll now move this image down to where it ends, close to where it ends, and I might decide that I want this guy to be a little bit higher this way. So I'll also drag this to the end. So if I move this to the beginning and I hit play, you'll see the difference now. So now I want to do this 
same thing to this other clip so i hit on this you will notice that this clip has different dimensions from the sequence that we created so what i'll do is i will select this clip first please make sure you select your clips before you edit on effects control because if you don't select it uh, you realize that you are actually applying effects to something else so i've selected this clip you come over here you change the scale to whatever size you want it so i hit on scale here and then i can increase the scale to this option you have another option of sorry let me take this back you have another option of on checking this uniform scale and you can decide to increase only the width so i changed only the width of the frame but i don't want to do that in this example let me check it back to the uniform scale and then scale both the width and the scale together i was just trying to show you an example now the next thing i want to do is to animate the scale and the position so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the scale here once again select this and then hit on this toggle on key and move this keyframe to the beginning of the clip then the next thing i want to do is to move this to whatever scale i want it to be i think this is fine so i'll just move this keyframe to the end of the clip now i also want to work on the positioning so i'll take this to the beginning so this is what the beginning looks like so i'll add keyframes to the start position then i'll move it close to the end probably i want to change the x axis i want the clip to move a little bit to the left i'll just move it this way so taking this keyframe to the extreme end completes this transition so let me now move to the next picture so i'll do the same thing here i'll come over here and increase the scale then i will hit on toggle animation so the system recognizes that this is where i want it to start from i will now move this to the extreme end the same procedure guys um so i'll probably scale this to the right scale it more so when i move this you will notice that it scales this way okay now the next thing i want to do is i want to also change the position so i'll go to the beginning of the scale and toggle on the position value and i will now come to the close somewhere close to the frame and then i can change the x value to let's say i want this yellow bosses here to show i'll make it move to that position okay i don't want that to come out so i'll now move this keyframe here to the end um so i've animated those three images lastly over here we want to do the same thing so here she talks about jesus christ his life and his ministry so what i want to do here is to first of all scale this banner up to this position so i will toggle that animation and then i can toggle the position and then drag them both to the beginning so here she mentioned the team jesus his life and his principle so i want to scale this i want to animate this to move to the position where it shows only this jesus christ his life and his principle so for this to work i'm going to come here to the effects control and i'll hit on this add keyframes so i'll add a keyframe here and add another keyframe what this does is from the beginning to this point this image will not increase scale the value is going to remain stagnant but from here I'm, the scale will automatically pop to what i want it to be now i'm trying to move the scale to where this jesus can become the main graphics so i'll come over to this scale here and animate it to let's say um 190 okay let me leave it at 198 and then i'll come over here to the x value and then move it to the left i think this is fine i think this is fine so i've added new keyframes so if i move it back And then she mentioned Jesus is life is principle. You will notice it's going to pop to Jesus is life is principle. Let's take a look at it. This year's Empowered Conference, which is themed 
Jesus is life and and his principle. So you can see that it moved directly to the position where I wanted it to key into. So lastly, I want to show you how to add rotation. And to do that, I added the logo on a white background. Now, this at the top here is the logo, while the one beneath is the white background. If I should off this, you will notice that the logo is no more visible. And if I should off this, you will notice that the white background is no longer visible. If I come over to rotation here, I can key rotation here to be zero and move this frame to the very beginning and then move this scale to the very beginning. Let's say I want to come over to the end. Okay, I want this scale here to be 41. Now, I want the rotation, I want this logo to rotate 360, that is clockwise, once so i'll turn this to 360 and then i want it to start from a scale of zero so i'll move this to the beginning of the clip and then i'll turn it to zero the scale is zero but at this position the scale came to 41 so if i hit play now you will notice that there was a rotation of the logo so it also increased in size. So if I move it gently, you will notice it, was, it started from zero in size and then it increased in value to 41. All right, guys, so that's um, the basic um, overview of how to animate, how to change the scale, how to change the position and how to rotate your image, your text, your videos. You can apply this to any clip that you have them as I always do. Okay, now, so let me take it back to the beginning so you can see what our video looks like. It is a common belief that the average Nigerian youth has a program not to succeed because of the bad governance systems, the poor infrastructure, and the unstable economic system. But you can still thrive and debunk myths and stereotypes if you depend on the heavenly constitution and you receive your teachings from the greatest teacher and mentor, which is Jesus Christ. Don't miss this year's Empowered Conference, which is themed Jesus is Life and His Principles. I would love to see you there. Tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your relatives, even tell your enemies, because if they are doing well, they will stop disturbing you. I can't wait to see you there. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video to the end. If you like this tutorial, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you.